we're back with another ColourPop video. Today we are going to be reviewing the new Harry Potter collection. I have everything inside of this box. I really haven't taken a look at everything, so we're just going to unbox this together and get a feel for the collection. So if you have not already subscribed to my channel, I do these ColourPop unboxings. Um, I pretty much get most collections and I review them here on my channel. So I do invite you to subscribe to my channel down below. Click that little red button. It's free to do so. You support me and my kids in the process. And I just really appreciate that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's review. No, I'd rather be waking up with you. Set up alone in your room. Slept with the light on waiting up for you. Don't. I don't want to be. So recently I took my kids to Universal Studios for my son's 8th, 7th? I'm forgetting his age, girl. Okay, it happens. <laughs> for his 7th birthday, I took him to Universal Studios and by far the Harry Potter ride was my absolute favorite. Um, they are obsessed with Harry Potter. Their dad read all the books to them and they're just... They love Harry Potter, so I'm excited for this collection because when they seen the box, they were like, Mom, you have to review this. I'm like, yes, I do. So here we have the Hogwarts, I, I can't pronounce it, the Harry Potter ColourPop eyeshadow palette. I thought it was called Hogwarts. I don't know. I guess it's just the Harry Potter eyeshadow palette. Look how pretty it is. Ooh, okay, so I think this is, how do you get this out? It's a sl slip a little slip here okay so you pull it out and by the way the eyeshadow names are on the back of the slip but they're also on the back of the eyeshadow palette hopefully they're inside of the palette as well so this is the palette it looks so pretty I think I've said palette a million times but I just think that this is definitely different from ColourPop like the whole sleeve pulling it out is just magical so let's get this opened up Eyeshadow names are actually inside of the palette as well. You don't get a mirror, but that's fine because this is like a little book. It reminds me of a little book. So take off the plastic here and then we have a total of, let me count. There is a total of 24 eyeshadows inside of this palette and this is what it looks like. Ooh, I am loving this color right here. And also the shimmer, the sparkle in that, that's really pretty. And the color scheme of this is more like fall. It's giving me fall vibes. So definitely perfect timing for this palette to launch. Now let's see what we have in the box. We have the Buck Beak uh, something. I think this is a highlighter or a blush. Oh, it's a Super Shock Highlighter. This is what the packaging of it looks like. It is plastic. And it's also reflective. You guys can see the name is reflective. Pretty cool. Let me get it opened. So here is a highlighter. Very creamy. That's what that highlighter looks like. That's pretty. Again, same packaging, the little box that it comes in as the other one this one is the Dobie highlighter super shock highlighter let's get this one opened up and I think this one is gonna be the kind of color that I like to use for medium skin tones I feel like golden shades look the best so that's what that one looks like can you guys see it good let me just put it right here I guess definitely gonna be a color I'm gonna be using so let me put this one aside because this one is gonna be the one that I'm gonna use today I haven't even finished opening up the other one what if I like it better this one is the Hedwig super shock yeah definitely not gonna use this I think this is a color that's gonna work for fair to light skin tones like this is not something I would wear but let me swatch it anyway to the back of my hand it is really pretty. I could almost use this as an eyeshadow, I think. It's pretty. Okay, and then we have, what are these? Are these liquid liners? Graphic ink eyeliners. So we have a green one, a yellow one, a red one, and a blue one. Okay, before I show you guys a close-up of these, I want to show you guys that the blue and the green one are matte liquid liners, and the other two have some shimmer to it. It's kind of like a 
what, what do you call it? Like a shimmer liner, I guess. <laughs> oh, I love you guys for watching me. What do you call that? Like a metallic, yes. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. So here is a close-up. I feel like the red one is pretty much opaque. The gold one would look really pretty in a crease, like in the crease area to emphasize like a cut crease or something like that. Definitely uh, would go with the mattes, honestly. And the gold, I think the gold's pretty. I'm not a fan of the red metallic. This collection also comes with a total of four lip balms and this is a sister brand to ColourPop. This is from the brand 4th Ray Beauty. And this is what they look like outside of the box. It has a clear top so you can see the colors of them. I'm gonna remove my lip gloss so we can see if they're tinted lip balms because if they are, these are gonna be amazing. I mean, at least this one will because I don't know how I feel about a yellow lip balm or green lip balm. Let's see if this one's tinted or not. Mm, I don't think it's tinted. Yeah, no. Definitely comfortable, tastes good, and feels good. <laughs> Here, let's try the green one. Ooh, this green one, it smells like mint. I love it. Are they all flavored? This one has shea butter, vitamin E. It doesn't say it has a scent to it, but I feel like it smells like banana. That would make sense because it's yellow. Does the red one smell? No, the red one does not smell like anything. And then we have the blue one, the blue one. Also, they're just like lip balms, not tinted. Does that one smell? Ooh, that one smells like blueberry. So if you're into those scents, that's what they're smelling like. Okay, and then now last but not least, we have the Lux Lip Gloss. I'm gonna swatch these for you guys. Let me just take them out of the box. I'm gonna get started with this one. I think this one would be a good lip topper. I don't see myself using this on its own, but I don't know, we'll see, I guess. This one is in the color, what color is this? This one's in the color L Love Good. This is actually really pretty. I could see this working with like a deep colored lipstick, like on top of it, it would look really pretty. I love how it reflects. Again, this one is in the color L Love Good. Okay, the next one we're gonna try is called H Potter, Harry Potter. This is not a lip oil. I thought they were all lip oils. Forgive the messy application. I was thinking this was a lip oil. This is the Lux Velvet Lipstick. I'm not trying to be neat. Okay, I'm just swatching it so you can see this one again is in the color H Potter. Okay, this next one, I don't know if this is a gloss. Oh, this is another Lux Velvet lip color and this one is in the color H Granger. I need a lip liner for this one. Okay, I actually really love this one. We're gonna create a whole look with this color. Okay, this is gonna be our inspo for the eye look we're about to do. Well, 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 well done. This next one is R. Weasley. This is another Lux Velvet lipstick. Okay, hold up, hold up. I think I like this one better than the other one. Ugh, they're all so pretty. And so comfortable on the lips too. Again, I'm not trying to be neat. I just want you guys to see a swatch of what this color looks like on the lips on somebody with a medium skin tone. This is gonna be my fall color, definitely. I'm put some lip gloss, I need some lip gloss in my life right now. After those swatches, I just gotta get in there and add a little bit of color. By the way, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Heat Lip Gloss. This is in the color Hot Cherry, it's one of my favorites. I always wear it. All right, so I'm gonna get started by using my Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Primer, and this is just gonna be to prime my eyelids so we can get them prepped up for some eyeshadow application. I'm gonna go in with my beauty sponge. I already have mascara because I just got done filming a video for TikTok, so I'm like hoping that this turns out all right. 
Let me get it on the other side as well. I kind of feel like doing something with the gray tones with cool undertones, including the green shimmer shade from this palette. I just think it looks really pretty. So I guess we'll just see what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this shade right here. That is the color Sorting Hat. And we're just gonna pack it on, cause why not? I'm gonna slowly start to blend out the outer edges as best as I can. Doesn't have to be perfect, but definitely want to work out the edges. Now I'm going to grab this shade right here. That one is called Enchanted Keys. With Enchanted Keys, we're going to apply it with a fluffy blending brush. Soften out the edges. All right, so now I'm going to grab a much fluffier brush that looks like this right here. And I'm going to take the color Huffle Puff. I'm going to apply it to the outer edge over here, really blend everything out. I'm also gonna apply it into this inner corner to really soften up that gray shade that we just applied. And you guys can see that the color that we applied at the crease kind of disappeared now. So we're gonna go back into Sorting Hat, which is this color right here with the same brush that we originally used and just go back to intensify that crease area. There's gonna be a lot of going back and forth with colors. So I'm taking this shade right here that we also use to blend out that dark gray. So we're doing that. I almost feel like this black here is necessary in the crease. I really wanna intensify it. We're gonna be doing a cut crease girl. The deeper the color, the more intense that cut crease is gonna look. So don't be scared to play with black. I'm just gonna intensify this area right here because we're gonna add black to the outer corner after. We're done cutting the crease and stuff. You guys will see what I mean. Now I'm taking some micellar water on a Q-tip. This is how I cut my crease. We're gonna remove any eyeshadow that we have on the eyelid. Now I'm gonna take the clean side of the Q-tip and dry the eyelid off. Doesn't have to be super neat. We just wanna remove as much eyeshadow from the eyelid as possible so that it doesn't bleed through when we apply concealer or eye primer, whatever you decide to use. I personally prefer to use, um, well, actually it's a mixture of both. I like using my eye primer, but I also like using my concealer. Today we're just gonna go back in with the eye prep eye primer from, from Juvia's Place. And I'm gonna take this painting brush that I picked up from Michaels. It's always linked down below in my description box. And we're just gonna go in there and create our guide that we, we're gonna be staying under. Okay, so that right there is our guide. I'm gonna take the remainder of the primer and take a flat brush. We're gonna begin to work underneath the guide that we just created. Apply the rest of the eye primer on there. See, I wish I would have put more black right there to intensify it, but that's fine. I guess we're going for a softer look than I anticipated for. But we're gonna take the color Hungarian Horn Tail. And because it is a shimmer and I already have my complexion makeup on, I am gonna spray this. In a stamping motion, I'm gonna place this color onto my eyelid where we have the eye primer. And the goal is to really stay underneath the guide that we created. I'm just applying it onto the lid, I'm not focusing on this corner right there because I want to place a different color right there. So we're just going kind of like in the middle, the center, just like that. That's already looking so beautiful. I know you guys are going to subscribe to my channel after this. I'm going to take this brush. I'm not telling you. I'm forgetting to tell you guys what brushes I'm using. I'm going to take the Sigma shader brush. This one is number E46. And I'm going to be using the color Gilly Weed. We're placing this in the inner corner to really brighten things up. And then we're going to take this color called Nimbus 2000. Once again, it's very necessary that I spray my brush with some setting spray so that we don't get any fallout, especially with dark shades like this one. I'm going to place this to the outer corner and blend it into that center shade that we applied. You don't want to see like two colors right next to each other. You want them to have like that gradient effect that they just transition so beautifully into each other. It just looks like one beautiful gradient like rainbow. Like, I don't know. 
I don't know how else to describe it. Like a, you know, when you look at a rainbow, like an actual rainbow, they just, they're all different colors, but they all just blend. Like you don't see a division of colors. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So proud of me right now. This is the part that I was telling you. We're going to take the black shade to really close off the eye. So taking the black shade with a small little brush like this one. This is the Morphe brush without a number. I'm going to place the black on top of my lashes. And then just slowly work my way up. Ooh. Ooh. Well... Did we just kind of like wing it out on purpose? I don't know what's going on here. I messed up. But again, queen of trust the process, okay? I'm going to go back into Enchanted Keys, that color right there. And hopefully we can fix this outer corner because I did not intend for it to like wing out. And then with the Sigma E42 brush, I'm going to go into this brown shade right here. It is called Great Hall. And I'm going to apply it to my lower lashes. So that is it. That's all I'm going to be doing for this eye look. I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same exact steps over to this eye. And then we're going to come back and we're going to try the highlighter and the lipsticks and stuff like that. So BRB. Okay, so we are back and I'm going to be using Dobe as my highlighter today. I told you guys this color just tends to work really good for my skin tone. Whoa, that is really, really intense. I have to like push it in so it looks more natural with my beauty sponge. I don't want a super intense highlighter. That's just not, I don't enjoy highlighters very much, but I wanted to share a tutorial of me using it. Oh my God, look at this freaking breakout I'm having right now. This birth control is not my friend. For lip liner, I'm going to go in with my Rare Beauty Kind Words Matte Lip Liner. Looking a little gangsta gangsta over here. I don't know what color I want to do today. I almost feel like this one would look the best with this look because anything too bright is just going to look a little off with the eye look that I have on right now. So this one is in the color... H. Granger. All right, guys, so that is the look I came up with using the Harry Potter ColourPop collection. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. This was definitely a fun collection to play around with. I love the colors inside of the eyeshadow palette, and I'm also a big fan of the lip creams that came with this collection. I think, I mean, I love all of them. The lip balms are also really hydrating, moisturizing on the lips, very comfortable. Um, let me know what you guys will be picking up. I will have all of this collection linked down below in the description box along with my discount code. My discount code is not affiliated. It just gets you $5 off of your purchase when shopping with ColourPop. If you do shop through the link that I have in my description box, it does earn me commission, which supports me and my kids. I'm a single mama, so I appreciate any and all the support I get from you guys. I thank you for your time today, and I really hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Have you shopped with me yet? Go ahead and take a look. I have so many eyelashes, different styles to complement any occasion. I also sell eyelash glue. I have press-on nail sets that I hand paint with love myself. I sell press-on nail kits, which you can do your own DIY nails, or maybe you want to sell your own press-on nails. I have so much to offer on my website, so go ahead and visit www.sonadoraofficial.com.